seventh grade, getting ready for sixth grade, lesson five. Relate decimals and percents. Unlock the problem. Decimals and percents are two ways of expressing the same number. You can write a percent as a decimal. You can also write a decimal as a percent. In percent, the whole is 100. What is the whole in decimal form? One, right? In order, in, and in order just to say that there's nothing else, you'd write one decimal zero or zero zero, right? Example one, model 42 hundredths. Write 42 hundredths as a percent. Write the decimal as a ratio. So 42 hundredths minus 42 hundredths equals 42 out of 100. And that's equal, sorry, not minus. Make a model that shows 42 out of 100. So over here, they color in four columns and two squares, right? Okay. So a total, that gives us a total of how many? Um, Shaded squares, 42. So 42 shaded squares equals 42 percent, or 42 with the percent sign. Okay. Example two. Model 19 percent. Write 19 percent as a decimal. So how many? Um, so they wrote 19 percent is in fraction form as 19 over 100, and then they want us to have the model show 19 out of 100. So how many columns would I color in? One and how many squares of the net? Nine. Nine. Okay, so use the model to write a decimal. So do we have any whole numbers? No, because we don't have a solid flat colored in, right? Okay, so we would put a zero. zero, and then out of those hundred little pieces, we have how many colored in? Nineteen. 19. Share and show. Use the model. Complete each statement. So they have 6,800, 6,800 written as a decimal. So basically, that's what out of 100? 68. 68. So how many squares are shaded? So out of our flat, how many of those are shaded? 68. 68 squares, right? And then how would I write that as a percent? 68 percent. So 68 with a percent sign, right? Write the percents as decimals. So we have 47%. So is 47% a whole cube or a whole flat? No. So I would put 0 0.47 because 47 out of 100 pieces are colored in, right? 11%. Is that a whole? No. No. So I put 0 decimal 11 because that's 11% out of 100%, so 11 squares would be colored. Okay, so you guys are going to do on your own with your partners. Let's go ahead and do one from each one, and then you guys will do all the rest. Okay, now they want us to write the decimals as percent. I want to look at number 9. Okay, they have 7 tenths. They don't have 7 hundredths. Okay, now what can I do to hold a spot? What what can I do guys? Add a zero. Add a zero to the end because all that's doing is holding a spot, right? Okay, it's just a filler. Now, can we put that filler in front? No, it can be at the back though. So that's technically 70 hundredths, so then what would I write? 70%. 70%. Okay, and then one other one real quick. Let's do number 10. So that says what? Six hundredths, right? Now some of you would look at that and say, oh, I see a six. But does that zero in front, does it do more than just hold a spot? Yes, yes. it is actually a place value, right? 
Okay? So that would not be 60%. What would that be? 6%. 6%. Write the percents as decimals. So let's look at number 18. Okay, that is 90%. So that would be 90 out of 100. So do I have a whole number? Nope, so I put a zero decimal. And then I could put 90, right? But that zero at the end is just holding a spot, right? Okay. Okay, so like we said, we don't have to put the zero because it would just be holding a spot. So we wrote 0 0.9. Let's look at 19, okay? It's 9%. So that's 9 out of what? 100. So do I have a whole number? No. Nope. So I put a zero and I put decimal. Now, do I just put 9? No. No, because that would be 9 tenths. And are we going out of tenths? No. No, we're going out of hundreds. So we have to put a zero to um, hold our spot and take up the ten spot, right? And then we can go to the ones. Or the hundreds, sorry. Not the, not the ones, the hundreds. Okay? So we would have nine hundredths that way, but we have to put that zero in there to hold our tenth spot. Okay? All right, you guys are going to do the rest. And then we will go over them and then finish number 20. Problem solving. In basketball, Linda made 56 hundredths of her shots. What percent of her shots did Linda miss? So we would say made 56 hundredths of her shot. 56 hundredths of her shot. What percentage of the shots did Linda miss? So what would be her percentage that she missed, guys? <laughs> 44 hundredths, right? So missed would be 44 hundredths, right? Okay, so how would I write that as a percent? 44 percent. 